Hello there, my name is Stuart Malice, an FAE here at Pico Technology. In this video, we are going to demonstrate and look at the TDR features on the 9311 sampling oscilloscope, one of the many capabilities in the 9300 series portfolio. The Picoscope 9311 oscilloscope features built-in step generators for time domain reflectometry and transmission measurements. The 9311-15 integrates a single rising step generator suited to single-ended measurements, while the 9311-20 features de-skewable rising and falling step generators suited to single-ended and differential measurements. These features can be used to characterize transmission lines, printed circuit traces, connectors and cables with a resolution of 16 millimeters for impedance measurements and four millimeters resolution for fault detection. The Picoscope 9311-15 and dash 20 generate 2.5 to 7 volt steps with 60 picosecond rise time from built-in step recovery diodes. In this demo, we are characterizing a 50 ohm mismatched impedance BT line on the network test examples board part of the RF network training kit. In my setup, I'm using the positive pulse and using both impedance and distance of the mismatched line. The setup menu allows you to make TDR and TDT measurements for any configuration, single-ended, differential or common. You can select any channel and any stimulus to configure your TDR system. Depending on the test, the vertical scale can be defined in volts, gain, row or ohm. In this example, we are using ohm. While horizontal scale can be specified in time or distance with different dielectric properties of the transmission line. The instrument provides a fast gain calibration and correction procedure, which easily allows you to change the rise time of the corrected step for TDR or TDT on each of the channels. By using correction, the results become more reliable more repeatable and accurate. In addition, performing a correction allows the instrument to simulate stimulus steps with different effective rise times. This allows you to view the effect of actual signal rise times on the magnitude of reflections from the discontinuities. We are now going to use markers to characterize our mismatch line. We can use the horizontal marker for impedance measurement and the vertical for distance measurement. You will see two traces on the screen, the dark yellow trace, the corrected trace, and the lighter trace, channel one. We will take our measurements from the corrected waveform. The solid line marker is the reference, 50 ohm, and the dotted marker, the difference, as you can see, is, def is deviating down to 25 ohms. The vertical markers allow us to see within four millimeters the change of our characteristic impedance in distance. As I move my markers in to measure the impedance, I can clearly identify change allowing us to locate our fault on the PCB. As we move from a 50 ohm uh, characteristic impedance and move it slowly, um, we can measure in distance, in millimeters, our source of error. And this example, it's 70 millimeters. You can also enable XY markers, which will give us both impedance and distance, allowing us to track in both impedance and distance terms our PCB and characterize our device under test. There are a wealth of features in the TDR um, capabilities within the 9300 series. If you have any further questions and you would like a demo, of the capabilities of the TDR functionality within the 9300 series, please do not hesitate to contact us. And thank you very much for watching.